All right, today I have my Sig Sauer P250 chambered in 22 long rifle. And I'd say it was a decent little gun for the money. It's a great shooter. It's a fun range toy. Uh, it's cheap to shoot with. And I haven't really had any issues, but there are a few things I don't like about it. Uh, the first thing is the magazines. They do give you two mags, which is pretty nice. They're these cheap hollow plastic 10 rounders. You can get extra ones for uh, about 15 bucks and then there's a mod kit to replace the insides to bump them up to 14 rounds but just for a range toy I'm good with just the two factory ones. But they are they are very cheap. They feel like almost like an airsoft magazine. And they fit in good, pop out good. No problems there. They're a little loose in the mag well and they rattle around, around a little bit. The other problem I have is after you shoot the 10th round, the slide does not lock back, so I'm, you got to really count your rounds, otherwise you're going to be striking nothing. Uh, and then, it is a really easy takedown, it was one of the re reasons I bought this gun. Pop the mag out, lock the slide back, you got this takedown lever. Now it does go up back all the way, I'm really not sure why, it needs to be straight up and down for the takedown. I think that has to do with something with the conversion kits, because I guess you can get a kit to shoot 9mm out of this gun, or 40 or 357 SIG, or whatever else. And then, you just slide the top right off. And then, you got your recoil spring guide rod. There's a little insert for that. And the barrel comes right out the front. It's a nice bull barrel. Now this is only a 3.9 inch barrel, so you're not going to be getting crazy accuracy with this gun. It's decent, but it's not going to be like, you know, like a 6 inch Ruger Mark IV or a Smith & Wesson Victory or something like that. So if you're looking for something for extreme accuracies, I would say this is not going to be what you want to buy. Now the other issue with this gun is that when you put the slide back on, you'll notice that you can't get this takedown lever to go back to the original position. It'll go backwards, but it won't go forward. You could see it kind of hitting the guide rod, and you just if you try to force it over, you'll end up just breaking something. So what the issue is, is this barrel slides forward. You need to put it back just a little bit to the position that you could get that takedown switch back so I don't know if there's a fix for it but you notice that it comes forward and then you just can't put it back so you gotta push that barrel back push the takedown switch back and that's how you get it back together I'm sure there's a fix for it but I'm really not too concerned with it uh, the sights are just some nice three dot sights they're alright uh, it does shoot a little high for me, so I kind of got to just aim a little bit lower when I'm shooting. But other than that, it's been a pretty good little shooter. Uh, I put about 250 rounds through it the other day, just of this uh, Federal 36 grain run of the mill ammo. And out of the 250 rounds, all I had was one light primer strike. And since it is double action only, you know, I got that light primer strike, just pull the trigger again. Hit it, it went off, and it was perfectly fine. So I'd say it's pretty good. That could have been ammo. I'd say more likely ammo if you don't know. 22s could be very finicky, especially with a semi-auto. Sometimes these primers are a little harder than they need to be, so sometimes it just doesn't like to go off. So that was one of the things that attracted me was the double action only. So yeah, I'd say overall this is a great gun. I bought it for $279 off CDNN on some special. I think MSRP is about 400 bucks, and you know I'd say it's a great gun. You know, easy takedown once you figure out that little issue. And my only real problem is that it doesn't lock back after the last round's fired. But oh well, for the for sub $300, I can't complain too much. It does come with this nice lockable plastic SIG case. It's got the inserts. Uh, comes with typical paperwork and uh, a lock. So that was pretty nice for such a cheap little 22. And uh, so yeah, I would recommend it if you're looking at it. There's just some things you guys should know about before you bought it because I couldn't really find too much about it. So thanks for watching.